Hi friends, my name is Meredith and today we are going to read a book about a unicorn who wants to fly. And it is called Donut, the Unicorn Who Wants to Fly. And it is written by Laura Gell and it is illustrated by Andrea Zuell. Now let's see what happens when Donut wants to fly. Okay, so we see Donut. Donut is thinking about flying with the birds. So Donut climbs up onto a tree stump and jumps. It says, Donut jumps. I wonder if that will work. Mm. Donut thumps. Looks like that did not work for Donut. And Donut is saying, oof. Donut jumps. So Donut is jumping again and again. It looks like Donut's using a trampoline. Donut flumps. Ouch! So the trampoline didn't work either. Donut is still not flying with the birds. Donut slumps. Sigh. So Donut does not seem to be feeling very happy. The bunnies are trying to cheer Donut up, but Donut just really wants to fly. Now, Donut is thinking. Bird plus wing equals flying. So if the bird has wings, that's what makes the bird fly. Donut plus wings equal flying. So Donut's figuring it out. Donut now has homemade wings. Do you think these wings will help Donut? I wonder, let's find out. Donut sails. So Donut's jumping and sailing in the air. Donut flails. Now you can kind of see from this picture what flailing means. They're, he's trying, 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 but I don't know if it's gonna work. Now Donut's on the ground. Donut wails. That did not work for Donut. Let's see what happens next. Sigh. Donut's taking a minute to feel a little sad, maybe a little dejected. Donut dreams. So that night, Donut is dreaming about different ways of flying. Donut schemes. So that means Donut is thinking of another plan. But now Donut beams. That means Donut is happy. Donut is beaming. I wonder if you can figure out Donut's plan. Donut tries. So Donut is trying something new. Looks like Donut is putting a plan together. Donut ties. So Donut is tying knots. It looks like the bunnies are helping. Donut flies. And there goes Donut. Donut has built a nest and the birds are helping to fly Donut through the sky.
And there goes Donut. Through the sky. And that's it. That is the book, Donut, the unicorn who wants to fly. And if you stay tuned, we will do some wordplay with this book. See you there. Let's make some of the words from the book, Donut, the unicorn who wants to fly. Here we see Donut jumps. Let's see if we can make the word jumps out of magnetiles. Here we have umps. What letter can we add to the front to make jumps? J Full. J th sol full. Let's try this one. The letter J. J. Jumps. Let's make one more word. We see donut flumps. And donut is on the ground saying, ouch. We are going to make the word flumps. So we have umps from jumps. How can we make flumps? So let's take away the J for jumps. Th so full. Hmm. These two sound alike. So full. Let's try full. Flumps. We did it, flumps. Let's make one more word. Here we see donut slumps. Let's make the word slumps. We've got sl and which one would make slumps? Let's try this one. Slumps. We did it again. Slumps. Let's try one more word. Donut thumps. Let's make the word thumps. And look at that. We only have one choice left. Th. Th pair. Thumps. We did it. We made thumps. Slumps. Flumps. And jumps. All from the book, Donut, the Unicorn Who Wants to Fly. That was so much fun. I love to make words with magnetiles. And you can make some at home too if you want. All you need are magnet blocks, like magnetiles, a dry erase marker, and 
a rag, because when you're all done, you can clean the words right off and start again. Thanks for making words with me, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.